Hey guys, we're back. Uh, last weekend we fished at my new home lake. This weekend we're actually fishing at uh, the lake I grew up on. So, uh, gonna go to give her a try in the morning and it's actually a two day tournament. So, uh, been out there practicing. It's been really tough. I haven't, I'm not, really not on anything to be honest with you. So, got a few ideas uh, that we're gonna try gonna really just fish his history and uh see what happens uh got my uh team partner uh tyler presley is gonna be with me tomorrow uh and then we're just gonna bounce around and see what happens it's gonna be 50 boat filled 1200 acre lake uh it's divided basically in the middle uh so you pick your side we're going to go on south end and uh that's typically known for bigger fish, uh, but we are getting a rainstorm and it's typically known to be a little bit more finicky on uh, weather conditions. But, you know, go big, go home, I guess you'd say. Uh, so we're gonna see what happens. Uh, you fish for 12 inches or smaller or 18 inches or bigger is the, is the slot. Uh, it's your best five. As the way practice went, honestly, if you get four little ones and one over, you're definitely not going to be out of it for the first day. Uh, obviously, we want five big ones, you know, to win it. So that's what we're going to be shooting for. But uh, we definitely want to stay in it uh, for sure. Uh, going to be fishing for. I think $5,000 for first place or something. They paid a top 10. Uh, so it is a pretty good little tournament. Uh, we can only idle around since we'll be in this big boat. It's a 25 horsepower uh, lake uh, that can run wide open, uh, unrestricted uh, idle only uh, rules. So we gotta, that changes a little bit on what we do or how we fish. But uh, like I said, I've grown up fishing this lake. Uh, we're just gonna see, you know, how it works out and uh, try to be most efficient with our time. Uh, obviously, everyone else that we're fishing against has grown up on this lake uh, for the most part. So it's just gonna be a bunch of hammers out there freaking wrecking them. You know, it's obviously probably gonna be a little tougher but uh uh we'll see what happens i mean it is supposed to get warm through the night uh it's been cool it's been in the 30s at night uh but it's gonna be like 63 degrees right off the bat warming to 80. it's a shallow lake uh it makes big moves in one day of warm weather uh some fish very few fish in my opinion, have spawned. Uh, some will be going, uh, or most will be going to the bank, I would say, eventually here. Whether we see that or not, uh, I feel like we'll see them up there. Uh, whether they be catchable or not uh, is the question. And it's really gonna be tough to even fish for them fish. It's supposed to be 20 mile an hour winds, I think both days. So, uh, I don't know, stay tuned see how it turns out but uh hopefully we'll catch some big ones
five in there and worry about maybe pulling that one out hopefully get in there over here but we're on a little deal so a little chatterbait deal so hopefully we st stick with it and it still works for us stay tuned
did he? Yeah, I just felt like I got hung up on the grass. Basically, it's all foot like. Now, trim that skirt a little bit, either in here or. Uh, oh, yeah, above here. the garbage. Oh, here, yeah. Yeah, above the garbage. Above the garbage. Can. I'll do above my bag. Less beats per minute, like less thumps, but it's like heavier. How about that? First cast with the Omega. First cast with the Omega. I have a fish. I have a fish. Maybe. Where's your deal? Oh, he might, dude. Where's your deal? Second day of the tournament here. Currently sitting in third place. 1370. Three over 18 inches and a couple under 12, but we're looking to get all five over 18 today. We're pulling up on our first spot here. He caught a couple overs here yesterday. I caught a 17 and a half over here. So pretty high percentage spot here. And then once the water warms up a little bit, we're gonna go back to the honey hole. Stay tuned! Good one? Could be big, way a bit hard. Pop up on trolling motor. Twelve and a quarter. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That was a team 50 boat team tournament on my home lake or the lake I grew up on. I'm on a, I live on a different lake now, but anyhow, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, we didn't get to catch all the footage on the second day. We had some SD card failures there, so we'll get that figured out for next time. Uh, anyhow, how we caught them? Well, first of all, did not find anything in practice. So I uh, just kind of had to rely on history and formulate a game plan that worked best for us since uh, I was only able to idle around and 
be on the trolling motor. Uh, like that, that like 25 horsepower and less, you can ride wide open. Bigger boats, you can only idle. So uh, I've caught fish all over that lake. So I just kind of had to come up with a game plan to keep us fishing the whole time. And it worked out for us to get fourth place anyhow. But first of all, we started off flipping and worming and different things like that. And uh, now catching a few fish here and there, but wasn't really working out for us. So uh, we started trying to get a reaction bite and we attacked mainly where we thought uh, spawning fish were. The lake was definitely in a transition. Some fish were spawning, some fish were uh, leaving, some fish were pre-spawn. So we tried to get right in the middle of them and kind of fish that area where we thought they were cruising, looking for beds or to get on beds or anything like that. And it worked out for us, but you know, we started worming, like I said, and wasn't really working there. So we kind of tried to go for the reaction bite and that's what really helped us out. And we were mainly throwing uh, chatterbait and swim jig, exclusively the chatterbait on the first day. Swim jig played big on the second day, uh, which was not caught in the video uh, where my partner uh, went back to back basically on two to the big ones or to the overs the second day unfortunately we didn't get that footage but uh uh first day exclusively it was all the fish were weighed in on a uh chatter bait uh but yeah we were going behind people and everything like that and just whacking them so i mean that really worked for us to get that reaction bite uh just worming was just not working at all for us I'm sure it did for other people, but did not for us. But anyhow, guys, uh, yeah, it was a transitional tournament. And like I said, we tried to get in the middle of them. Uh, just know that lake, know where they like to spawn. So I figured I'd try to get in in between uh, where they were coming and going and looking around. And it worked out for us and it worked out for a couple other guys too that were in other areas that they like to do that uh too especially a guy on the second day he whacked him on a buzz bait i believe and uh had a very good bag the second day and i think ended up finishing second i believe second or third so that was that was pretty good anyhow uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys please like and subscribe to the channel I like this video that helps push the videos out there gets more people to see them uh, i'm going to try to keep on doing you know how i caught them where i caught them why i caught them and all that stuff at the end of the videos here uh, try to help people out and figure out ways to catch more fish at different times of years hopefully so stay tuned to the next one it's coming up soon thank you